Hello everyone, welcome to UN College Digital Class. So, as per our syllabus is concerned, we have to discuss on three case studies. In our previous video lecture, we have already discussed our first case study that is on embedded system which is insulin pump control system. And in this video lecture, we are going to discuss our second case study on information system that is mental health care patient management system. So, the mental health care patient management system is a type of information system. So, when we discussed on application software type, there is an application software that is information system. So, what is this information system? Okay. So, the system which give us a variety of information will be called as a information system. But actually the information system deals with storing the information in a large database and then retrieving those information from those uh, large or centralized database for the analysis purpose. That means we can generate a variety of administrative reports by using those information which are stored in a centralized database. So, patient management system or we can call it as a ment care system. So, ment care system is a type of information system which deals with the um, uh, health care or especially in the mental health care. So, let us see what is this ment care system, what are the purpose for this system and how the system works. So, the first thing is it is a medical information system that maintains information about patients suffering from mental health problems. As we know in many countries like India is a big country, there are so many people who are suffering with mental health issues and whenever the, they are suffering from mental health issues, they have supposed to meet a psychiatrist. But with the respect to these uh, problems or these health issues, the availability of the psychiatrist is very rare because the psychiatrists are always available in big cities or big towns. But uh, when we uh, take a consideration in village level, then there are also so many people who are suffering uh, with uh, a sort of uh, mental health issues and in their local health centers, there are no psychiatrists also. So, what about them? How they will get treatments? Okay. So, with respect to all these things, many countries, their government came up with variety of facilities where they concern uh, that uh, in every part of their country or in every part of the state or you can say in every village each and every patient who are suffering from mental health issues will get some treatment based on their past uh, histories or based on the information which have collected and stored in a centralized database and those information will be retrieved by the medical people and they will start treated uh, those patients who are suffering from mental health issues. So, the patient management system or uh, the main care system is an information system which will helpful for those patients who are actually residing in remote areas and having some mental health issues. This main care system is always helpful for them. The second is patients do not require dedicated hospital treatment but need to attend specialist clinics regularly. So, this is also the important aspect here 90 percent of the patient who are suffering with mental health issues, they are just like outpatient. That means they never need to go to the hospital regularly or they never need a continuous treatment. Or we can say it is not compulsory for them to get admitted into the hospital. All they need is a small visit to the hospitals and consult a psychiatrist or a doctor. Once the treatment will be given to them, they will lead a, as is a life in our society. So, this patient management system is very helpful for them to be treated. The third thing is these clinics are not just run in hospitals, but they may also be held in local medical practices or community centers. 
So it is not necessary that we uh, have to run a big hospital for providing these uh, treatments to those patients who are suffering from mental health issues. These treatments can also be provided from local health centers or from community centers. Okay. Uh, because here we are using a centralized database, all the information about the me mental health issues patients, the information will be get collected and get stored into that centralized database. So what happens, the medical people retrieve those information about the particular patient and then they will start treat uh, uh, to that particular patient. So for example, in a small village, there may be a small community center, but there, there may not be any psychiatrist. So the medical people will do what? They will just uh, take their own laptops, then uh, install these uh, main care system into their laptops and then they will go to the individual village or they will go to the resident of that particular patient and then after they will retrieve the history of that patient or what are the medicines they have taken whether they are having any issues or whether they are, uh, they are facing some problems or uh, if there is a need to shift their patient to the hospital so all this kind of information can be retrieved from the centralized database and based on this information the, med the medical people maybe your doctor maybe your nurse or maybe your practice nurse they will treat the patient. So now just have a look what is exactly this main care system. As I told the MHC PMS is the mental health care patient management system and it is an information system that is intended for use in clinics. So by using this particular system the medical people your either doctor or nurse or practice nurse they will get the information about the patient and based on the information they can treat the patient and the second thing is it is using a centralized database that means all the patient information will be stored in a larger database we can call it as a centralized database then all those information can be retrieved from that central database and based on the information the patient will be treated and also this system has also be also uh, been designed to run on a PC. That means the medical people can install this main care system into their personal computers and uh, into their laptops. The third thing is when the local system have secure network access, they use patient information in the database. That means when the medical people have a secure and good network access, then they can retrieve those information or they can access those information from the centralized database. Then what about when they have no internet connection, uh, then what will they do? Okay. So when, whenever they have a good network access, they can access those information from the centralized database and also they can download those information and save in their laptops. And when they have no network access, they can use those downloaded documents or those downloaded patient information to treat the particular patient. So now move on to the main care goals. What are the goals of the mental health care patient management system? So it will help to generate management information. Okay. So here the huge amount of data related to those patients who are suffering from mental health issues will be get stored into one particular database in terms of server and this information will be taken to generate variety of reports with which it will be easy for government authorities to look into the overall progress of that particular healthcare system. For example, suppose we have a local mental health care center or we have a small community center. The patients who have already uh, come to that uh, mental health care system, the medical people will uh, collect the basic information about those patients and then the basic information will be stored in a centralized database. And from that database, uh, it will also generate some data summaries and that data summaries uh, will help the government agencies or government authorities to look after that particular mental health care system. The main care system 
is also helpful for generating a variety of reports like in a particular district or in a particular state how many people are suffering with this mental health issues and what are the progress how they are getting treatments what about their recovery rate how many doctors are available there how many clinics are also available there whether the patients are getting regular treatments or not so all these reports can be re generated by using this particular men care patient management system and other another point is it provide a uh, timely information to the medical staffs that means whenever the information about the patient will be needed for the medical people to treat those patients then this ment care system is always available there to uh, give a timely information about the patients because the patients uh, need to be regularly monitored so this ment care system is always available there to give a timely information to the medical people to treat the uh, patients who are suffering with mental health issues so just have a look into this diagram this is the basic organization of the mental health care patient management system so there are n number of mental health care um, patient management system these are the local computers which has been installed into the local mental health care or community centers so these local computers are get connected to the mental health care patient management system server okay so whenever any patient come to those local uh, community centers then the medical people will record those basic information about the patient and then based on the records those information will be get stored into the patient database through this msc pms server okay so this is the centralized database when Uh, the database will get filled by the uh, all the information about the patient then whenever the medical people wants to access those information they can access it by any location uh, they may be in hospitals or they may be in community centers so they may be in a big cities or they may be in remote areas so wherever they are may be they can access those information from the centralized database even if one doctor get changed to another location then the new doctor can access all those information about a particular remote area or about a particular community center that he can access from the centralized database okay so all this patient information will be stored into this patient database is a centralized database by the pms server so all these local computers are get connected to this msc pms server then through this server or we can say the information will get stored into the centralized database in terms of the server so this is the basic organization of a ment care system so next come to the key features of the ment care system the first one is individual care management that means this system help us to create uh, records for patient that means whenever the patient will come to any clinic then the medical people will store the basic information about the patient and the medical people can also edit that information and uh, view the patient uh, history also and this uh, this system is also help uh, to generate data summaries and by looking at the data summaries the doctors can quickly learn about the key problems that the patients are facing and based on those data summaries the uh, doctors can treat the um, patient who have facing some sort of mental health issues the next is patient monitoring the patient monitoring means what the patient should be tracked by this particular system regularly okay see normally we know that whenever the mental health care is concerned the patient should go to the hospital regularly or the patient should visit to the doctor regularly 
so whenever any discontinuity will arises then the patient should be in a position that it is capable of intimating the patient and the medical people saying that if something goes wrong with that patient the patient is not regular or uh, maybe there are some problem that should be detected so the system should be capable uh, that uh, whenever any discontinuity arises immediately the system should intimate the medical people or the patient also the third one is administrative reporting okay. administrative reporting means it is all about generating a variety of reports like the system should be capable of generating monthly management reports showing the number of patients treated um, at uh, each cleaning the number of patients who have entered and left the care system then the number of patient section that means if that uh, patient is suffering with a severe mental health issues then such kind of patient should be get admitted to the hospital and how many patients came to the cleaning and just took the prescription and left and uh, what are the drugs prescribed to those patients and uh, what are the cost of those drugs so this main care system is also helps to generate a variety of administrative reports so finally what are the major requirements when the main care system is concerned so there are two major requirement for uh, the main care system that is privacy and safety so in terms of privacy when we are using a main care system we always expect uh, some sort of privacy from that system because this system is actually deals with the patients who are suffering with mental health issues and this system is storing very sensitive data about the patients like their personal data their current uh, mental health uh, situation uh, and uh, their uh, changing activities so all these sensitive data are get stored into this centralized database so the system should be capable of uh, maintaining the confidentiality and the privacy and those data will never disclose to anyone anyone means the data should be kept with two person one is the patient and another is the medical authorities so apart from those like medical authorities and the patient the data should not be disclosed to any third party so this is the privacy should be maintained in the mental health care system the second is safety so here safety in the sense some mental illness cause patients to become suicidal or a danger to other people okay like uh, we might have come across that if uh, there are severe cases uh, with some patient then it is very dangerous to keep those patients in our society they may be dangerous for uh, other family members and also for the people who are in their surroundings or the patient may be think to go for a suicidal case so if any such cases arises then the system should be in a position that will intimate the medical people over there okay and uh, the last thing is the system must be available when needed otherwise safety may be compromised and it may be impossible to prescribe the correct medication to patients because all the patient information like patient history what are the medication that uh, has already prescribed to that patient so all this information are getting stored into the centralized database so the centralized database or the main care system should be always available there to give the particular information or to give the correct information about the particular person so after that the doctor will uh, find it easy to prescribe a new patient or a old patient also so these are the key features what are concerned in main care first one is your privacy second one safety and the, the third and most that is the system should be available there uh, for which the doctor will prescribe correct medication to the patient so all this about our second case study on main care system in our next class we will go for the uh, weather's uh, information system okay thank you